How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's having a good day. For me, not so much. So just recapping, last weekend I took my 6th gen Celica with the uh, 3 SGTE swap to a cruise. It was great, you know, runs perfect, runs strong. But then uh, on Sunday when I came back home, I was trying to clean, you know, vacuum and things like that. And it turned out that my uh, my coolant was actually leaking inside my cabin. So my, my floor, carpet, and the floor mat, everything, all that's all drenched in coolant. So I took like, you know, the whole thing out, all the exterior, the carpet, all that, you know, took all that out and trying to clean it. And today I am going to work on my 6th gen Celica. Um, the, the plan was trying to do a uh, temporary fix, trying to bypass the, uh, the, the coolant hose to the heater core and back out into the engine bay, trying to bypass that. So um, there'll be like a temporary fix so it doesn't leak anymore inside the cabin while I drive the car. All right, so my car has been parked for a whole week. I didn't drive it because it was leaking. I didn't want it to leak anymore because cleaning out those, you know, coolant is it's a hard process because it doesn't dry out like water, you know, it's, it, it just stay there and drench. It doesn't dry right out. Uh, yeah, everything is out. I took out the whole carpet and everything. I uh, took out the seat, but then you know, I'm put the seat back in there because I don't have any space in my garage. So the leak is actually coming from coming from here somewhere. Uh, mostly this part is you know mostly wet with coolants. It kind of makes it, its way down this way kind of like uh, a little bit toward the uh, the passenger side but you know I got that clean out too. All right so this hose down here this one right there Okay, so this hose right there, this heater hose right here, and this heater hose right here. So these are two, the two hoses that is connected to the, the heater core pipe or hoses. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do a bypass, trying to, you know, maybe go to Home Depot and try and buy like a, like a U PCV heater hose and trying to, you know, connect it together. Try to connect this hose and that hose together like a U so it was you know circulate back into the engine that you know it doesn't go all the way inside the cabin into the, the heater core and back out so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna loose up these clamps and try to you know take out these two hoses and you know measure what size it is I I don't know how to buy the hoses or the connector from Home Depot and get that going all right, so about like five minute-ish later, I got these two holes out. Got this one out and got this one out. So this one here is right here. And this one here is right here. Yeah, this one is kind of hard to get off. Uh, once it's in there, it's really hard to get off. Uh, you might use like a flathead or some sort of plier to help you pull it out, but just be careful. You don't want to damage it because if you damage this hose here, uh, these holes are discontinued, so you probably want to use like a universal, like a universal S hose because from down here up here, it curves like an S. Yeah, so just be careful of those. All right, so with these holes off, I'm gonna go to Home Depot and try to find the parts that I need and try to uh, bypass this. All right, guys. So about an hour later, I am back home again from Home Depot. I had to make like two runs because the first one I purchased the adapter, it was a little bit too big. So I went back and exchanged and bought different ones. All right, so excuse the noise in the back. So this is the uh, the brass, the elbow brass um, adapter here. It's 3-4 by 3-4, so make sure you get this one. Um, I don't know why, but the plastic one is a little bit too big. This one fits just fine. And I also purchased this um, this, this soft floor uh, cushion here from Home Depot as well to place that underneath the uh, to place this underneath the uh, driver's side uh, flooring panel because the uh, the the, uh, the fiber material on the carpet it's all like you know wet and damp with the coolant so it's not gonna dry out like I wanted to it's not gonna dry out like water so I had to like rip the whole thing out I want something to protect the carpet that's why I bought that, that soft cushion flooring uh, over there uh, on the passenger side it got a little bit on the, the fiber here as well uh, it got to this part here so I have to tore this out because it's not gonna dry out like water uh, a little bit over here but it's not too bad so this side is okay but then for the uh, driver's side I, I had to uh, cut out those cushion over there and to place it underneath the carpet to protect the carpet <music> Alright, 
right, so I cut one for the uh, back and one from the front. This here goes on the uh, driver's side floor panel, and this here goes on the uh, the rear floor panel. Okay, so before I put my uh, my carpet and my you know interior plastic panel and all that to back together, I wanted to install this elbow adapter here for my heater hose here real quick. Okay, so the plan is to uh, adapt this into this hose right there. It's gonna go in like that, and hopefully this one here will just you know adapt it. All right, so I got my uh, front seat out and got some cushion in here. This is just a little leftover cushion that I just thought I'd put that in. And over here on the uh, driver's side, I have something that look like that. I know it's some uh, DIY stuff, but you know, it should work for now. Uh, I got these microfiber towel here laying down in there as well, just in case, you know, there's some residue left over that, you know, it might leak when I'm driving. All right, guys, so about an hour-ish later, I am almost out of sunlight. And I got most of my uh, interior back in, my carpet, my uh, seats back in, my uh, front dash here. Got most of these back in. I haven't got my uh, driver's seat yet because I was trying to, you know, make sure everything's all tied up. And yeah, just little stuff that needed to be uh, put back Hello, in. Hello, fellas. So it is a new day. Yesterday, I ran out of sunlight. So again, this morning, I took my car for a drive. Maybe around like 30 minutes drive and came back and I checked the, uh, the the bypass and there wasn't any leak. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how the bypass look like. Uh, since right now it's around 11 o'clock and there's plenty of lights. So yep, this is the bypass right there. So this is this is a elbow adapter. So connect these two heater holes here together. Instead of going to the firewall, I connect back together. So the cooling will cycle back into the engine. So that's how you do it. Uh, right now, I don't see any signs of leak. Um, hopefully it stays like that. Uh, I'm gonna drive it for like maybe a week or two and see if the coolant is missing. If, if it is leaking from somewhere, it will definitely uh, lose some coolant from the reservoir. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for my video. I'm gonna wrap up this video here. If you guys have any ideas or suggestions, please comment them below and let me know. Thanks guys and have a good day.